have our friends from EAA here to tell us all about some awesome things that they've got going on over at the museum. Uh, even though Air Venture has come and gone, they, they still keep very busy throughout the rest of the year. So I have Amelia Air Abraham here from EAA to tell us all about some, some really cool things you have going on at the museum. So first of all, Amelia, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for yeah, having me. Thanks for coming in. It's, it's great to have you guys in outside of the Air Venture thing because mm -hmm. I think it's a common misconception conception that EAA is only Air Venture but you guys have so much going on. You're very busy throughout the year. It's it, really... It definitely is. We have year-round events internally, externally. Um, we do weddings and we actually have our nose art display right now that's a big hit with all of our museum guests. Um, it's actually the largest uh, World War II nose art collection in the world. We have it on loan from the Commemorative Air Force. And what makes this collection unique is that it's um, it's never been on loan before. So the Commemorative Air Force is actually building a new facility and they needed a place to kind of house it. And so we oh, were, so that's why we it's were over there. <laughs> yes, we were lucky enough to kind of house this uh, while they're building their new facility and we couldn't be more grateful. Oh my gosh. And we were out there doing a different interview um, a few weeks ago and I got a chance to see some mm -hmm. of the art and it's amazing. It it's is. Just, it's, you're literally looking at a piece of history right it there. It is. And it knows art. Um, a lot of people don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. So what it is is it's artwork, um, drawings and paintings that people that flew the B-17s and the B-24s in the World War II actually put on their nose, or put on the nose of their planes. And the goal of this exhibit is to really look at the stories behind the nose art and the, the men that flew those planes. Um, it actually is really meaningful and what drives it home is that these men went out on missions every day and they, they knew that there was a significant chance that they weren't going to come home. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of kept these on their planes to remind them, motivate them to come home. They were their lucky charms. and so. When you read each description on the story behind each plain piece, it, it really is it, t touching. It's, it's like their motivation. It is. You know? It definitely is. And a is. lot of them are pictures of ladies, like mm -hmm. so maybe a girlfriend or it something is. from home that yeah. reminds them of that. Um, so it's just really cool to see. And mm -hmm. that's going on. You don't have a specific end date, but it's at, towards the end of the year. Correct. We're, we are scheduled to have it through spring of 2017. Mm -hmm. But depending on when the Commemorative Air Force gets their new facility done, we might have it a little bit longer than that. Wonderful. Yeah. And that's not the only thing that's out at the EAA Museum. You've got another event coming up called the September Swing. And that's going to be in the hangar area as well. It is. Um, when is that going to be happening? That's going to be on Saturday, September 24th from 7 to 11 p.m. Um, what it is is a, it's a 40 style hangar dance and so you come and listen to music, you can get free hors d'oeuvres and you just have a great time throughout the night. Oh my gosh and it's got a whole theme. Uh, you can dress up in your swing themed outfits and everything yes. um, and there's a lot of different things to look forward to with this one. Um, there's going to be World War II vets there that we're going to be able to honor. Yes, something new this year is we're kind of featuring it around VJ Day. So celebration of the end of the war, very patriotic colors, bright colors, and also bringing our troops home. So we thought it would be a cool idea to reach out to those living World War II veterans and see if they would come and be our special guests of honor. They'll sit at a head table mm -hmm. and guests are encouraged to go up and talk to them, hear their stories. They have, every one of them has amazing individual stories from the war and yeah, and how, how cool it is to have them there to be able oh. to talk to them. So they'll be the guest of honor, they which will. is, that's just awesome. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Um, but of course it's called the September Swing and it, that, it wouldn't be that without some swing dancing. Yes. And you'll have the opportunity to learn some of that. We do. We start our night at 7, at 7.30 we start dance lessons. We have a dance instructor come in, Bruce Marshall from Green Bay. He comes in and he teaches half hour dance lessons. So if you have no idea how to swing dance, it's a perfect time to learn. <laughs> Otherwise you can kind of twirl around, show off your moves. Yes. Then at eight o'clock, ladies must swing from Madison. They're a 19 piece, all female jazz band. They'll take the stage and just rock the night. That is awesome. And they're called What Ladies Must Swing. Ladies Must Swing. That yep. is so cool. Perfect for the theme. Wonderful. So it's just a full, awesome night of mm -hmm. fun. Um, where can we get tickets and how much are they? Individual tickets are $40. You can buy 
couple tickets for $75. If you buy them after September 23rd at 5 p.m., the admission price does go up $5. Mm -hmm. You can find those at um, our website, eaa.org slash September Swing. So get your tickets soon, save a couple awesome. bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just a wonderful event that we're really looking forward to. We've got a couple minutes left and we wanted to just touch and give a little plug to a couple other events yeah. you have coming up. And I can't believe we're already talking about this, but Christmas in the Air is coming up in just a few months. When we, is that going to take place? We do have Christmas on the Christmas in the Air. It's scheduled for December 3rd, which is a Saturday. It's a free holiday event for the community, families, children. We have numerous activities happening. Um, something new that we have this year is breakfast with Santa. Mm -hmm. So families and kids can come and meet Santa, have breakfast with him before the event actually starts. And then, of course, we have another event coming up, the Wright Brothers Memorial Banquet. Yes. That, that is in commemorative of the anniversary of the Wright Brothers' first flight on December 17th. And so what we do is we have cocktails and then we have a dinner at 7 and we always have a guest speaker. This year's guest speaker is Jean Krantz. Okay, wonderful. And we can find more information about all of these events on the EAA Museum website. Um, and is that just EAA.org? Yes. Okay. Yes, and you just be able to go to the events tab and find all the information. Yes, and we will for sure have you back to talk about Christmas in the Air and yes. your other events coming up too. Um, but if, it, you know, people are social media people, like you guys have a Facebook yes. page as well. Yes, we are on almost every form of social media. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Well, Amelia, thank you so much for coming and telling us all about these events thank and everything that's us. going on over there. It's wonderful to hear and um, we're looking forward to having you back again soon. Thank you so much. <laughs>